Jason Blood Church coming to you today. God bless each and every one of you. I'm going to take you with me on a little drive. Haven't done that in a while. Find that to be a little fun. Hope all is going well. Hope you had a good 4th of July holiday. You know, sort of weekend if you're in the United States. Wanted to talk out loud about the end times. You know, I really believe that there's some interesting things going on. We do have the Feast of New Wine still in the possibility um, of... You know, an interesting high watch date, not predicting any, you know, anything. I never have, I never will. I actually favor the Feast of Trumpets as a rapture date. Um, we're going to talk about that here on the channel. If you're not saved, you know, it's always about getting saved by the blood of Jesus Christ. Jesus died on a cross 2,000 years ago that he is God in, in flesh form. And he, God loved you enough to die for you, essentially. He has passed... Um, life. He was perfect. He never sinned when he was in, in flesh form, unlike us, and he showed us the way to live, but he also died for us, more importantly. And so that your sins can be forgiven and washed away by the blood of Jesus Christ. So 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4 lets us know how, you know, how he died. He died on a cross. He was buried. He rose from the dead. Amen. Like only God can do. And he came for sinners. And so you need to admit you're a sinner in need of a savior. Turn for the world. Turn to what he did on the cross. And count on that for your eternal security and remission and forgiveness of your sins. And all your sins, if you believe with your heart, confess with your mouth, will be washed away, according to Romans 10, 9, and 10. And Ephesians 2, 8, and 9, let us know that you can't boast. It's not of your own works. It's, it's just a free gift. And that's what Jesus did for us because he loves us. That's how much God loves us. So end times, you know, we see we see what's interesting. A lot of people, if you research conspiracies in the past and seen something about CERN, uh, they're supposed to flip it back on. Last time they did, some crazy things happened, and they flipped it off. Is that an indicator that we're getting close to the end? Um, could open up some gateways. I think they're trying to bring back the fallen angels. So that's something to keep, keep your eye on. You know, we are in the generation of the fig tree still and um that's a very unique time that we're in as they come up upon 73 years plus a seven year tribulation we make 80th by strength according to psalms 90 10 and we have red heifers and we have the temple foundation with all the bricks ready to go and we have the one world system and its economic reset and desire to change money currency and we have war with um, in Europe, and you have Iran and Israel and Syria and Damascus and all of that area continuing to you know add up and, and be more be more of a power cake situation. You have you know Russia is really dependent upon their their oil for their economy, and you have Israel competing directly with it with Europe, and it causes more and more nothing but more and more tension. You had Turkey finally decide recently to to not veto Finland um, and Sweden to join or Norway, excuse me, to join the uh, the NATO push. So the, all those things are interesting and they all add up to are we getting close? You know, are we getting close? I, you know, I definitely think that um, you know, Jesus Christ is coming back at the rapture like you promised. The church is not appointed to wrath. First Thessalonians four thirteen through eighteen. He's gonna, he's gonna come with the trumpet voice of God. He's gonna and and uh, Michael the archangel and he's going to call us out, a called out assembly, a caught up. You probably hear your name. You're gonna you're gonna go at the speed of light. You're gonna you're gonna leave the blood behind. It's gonna be flesh and bones, and we're gonna have a new body, probably similar, you know, definitely similar to Jesus and, and sort of like the angels as well. And we will be out of here. And that'll be the best day ever, you know, amen for that. Until then, we occupy the time, you know, we give the gospel. You know, I, I know a lot of people are depressed and hurting and frustrated and times are difficult. You know, continue to pray. You, Abba, your Father, Jesus Christ, Holy Jesus Christ, you know, he can He can move mountains. He can, he can be there for you in your time of need, and he will be. But you need to pray, you know, to him. You need to read his word, get into the Bible. I recommend the KJV Bible and get into his word and spend time with the Lord and love the Lord and he will guide your paths and your ways. I'm, I'm here, you know, leave comments on the channel if you need prayer requests. Would love to hear from you. I hope uh, you're safe. 
you know, I know that there's a lot of things on the, you know, on maybe on your mind, and and you got to remember the elites, they have their plan, but they 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 sometimes will use scare tactics to try to keep control, and and they often, I think, jump the gun on uh, predictions of things, um, in terms of being out of food or in terms of World War Three happening. So don't don't get concerned that. You know, all that's going to happen overnight. You know, God is in control. Put your faith in God and trust in God, and not and not in what man says. Not in what, that's why I think reading the Bible is so important, and not just listening to to men because men get it wrong. You know, we've always gotten it wrong. Look how many times men has messed up covenants with the Lord, uh, and that's dealing with God. You know, you would think man would take that extremely uh, serious, right? But yet there's still so many mistakes, so many errors, and so many. Uh, problems that that man causes. So listen to the Lord. Read your Bible, pray, and stay in a good place um, with Him, and He will guide your paths, and He will protect you in your, on all your ways, and He will He will keep you, as He promises from from tribulation. Anyway, I uh, hope this was a great message for you today. I hope it was uplifting. I hope you see it as a positive message to realize that you know God loves you. God is with you. God bless and have a great day.